Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're going to react to Season 1, Episode 3 of Miss Marvel entitled Destined. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there's a reaction. Links are in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. No wasted motion. Last episode, Kamala getting a little bit used to her powers, but not fully. So we're going to put Jerry behind the scenes to get to work. Boop. All right. Let's do it. British Occupied India, 1942. So I imagine we're going to get some stuff with Aisha and that that whole the, the partition stuff. I imagine. Ooh, you found yourself a little sickle, a little stab stab. I don't need that helmet. Maria, Celine, I found it. I found the bangle. Whose hand is that on? That's a blue hand. Or is that Aisha? I have no idea. I need names next to everybody. 72 bangles. What happens if you get two bangles, bro? Unlimited power. It's just a guess. So where's the other one? I told you. The British have probably looted this place twice over by now. Well, they didn't find that one. They'll have to do. Go. Check on Adam. Najma, it's the British Army. We don't have Okay. Aisha, we don't Yeah, Aisha's the one in the... In the blue. There's even a chance this bangle can take us back home. We have to try. Give it the old college try, bro. Slap that some bitch on. I have the power. Did you see that? We'll flex and bust out then. Damn. So how did you all um, say you knew her? Was it like, did you guys meet in school or something? Not exactly. Aisha was from another dimension. So it's not her cousin at the end of the day, little buddy. Man, I was going to say, talk about just getting flipped upside down, huh? <laughs> not her cousin. All right. That's not Aisha. So are we. It was the other lady in the blue. Remember when I said we're that a second ago? <laughs> you were exiled. Vanished. Got close to finding our way home. Yeah, about that. You all look very good for being around in the 40s. Thank you. Okay. Not all of us. Kid 17. Fuck. That's a relief. You're right. She is adorable. Uh, I, I never said that. <laughs> Not that I don't think that. I just... I, I'm trying to this is so myself. awkward for you. What is <laughs> You're making it awkward now. What did I teach you? Oh, my God. Someone's got a crush on Come. It's getting a bit noisier. Did you even ask if she's hungry? No one asked if she's hungry. I never I'm hungry. Chance. Thank you for saving me. I'm just waiting for my food. Is this too good to be true as well? Protect Aisha's family. I don't trust anybody anymore in shows. No, she had any until you put on that bangle and sensed the presence of Noor to bring us all home. And now you must finish what she started. I call shenanigans. So where exactly is your home? Shenanigans. Also, what are you like? Respectfully, like what are we? In our home dimension, the Noor dimension, we're known as clandestines. As to what we are, we are called Ajnabi, Majnuri, Unseen, the list goes on. But what we're most commonly known as is Jinn. Genies? I'm sorry, did you just say Jinn? <laughs> You can't just text me, I'm alive, and then go get a full eight hours. Okay? It was insane. The police showed up, and everyone was asking me. You can't say I'm alive and go get your full eight hours. I was chased by drones. Also, do not forget, we are trying to get them in okay. nightlight. Is there a problem, officer? Agent, actually. Department of Damage Control. We received a report of an unidentified enhanced individual operating out of this mob. Enhanced. Operated? Out of here? I'm afraid not, ma'am. But if you do know of anyone who can fly, please send them my way. 
Been looking for someone to clean out the rain gutters. Hmm. Fan out such premises. Uh, not without our permission, you all. Yeah, ooh, stand up. Authority here. Yeah, you better bounce. Okay. Not give idea. Moth board member. We still have a like perspective member, but I feel good about our polling. Pursuant to U.S. criminal code, law enforcement officers are not permitted to enter a private space without a signed warrant. Yeah, you study the criminal code in homeroom. Law and order reruns, but I'm not wrong. It was a very at least, at least she's honest about where she got her info from. To cooperate. Serious because your person of interest is enhanced, or because she was spotted at a mosque, ma'am. Please return when you have a signed warrant. Ooh, shut up there. Excuse me, Miss Agent. Miss Agent. Next time, remove your shoes. Yeah, don't be a fucking asshole. She sh she shut that shit down, and she has my vote. She has my vote. That's one of those things, too. Like, even if you go into something, that doesn't have to be religion. That doesn't have to be anything you believe in. If you're going to step foot in somewhere, bro, respect people, shit. It's just like going into somebody's home. They're like, hey, we don't we don't like shoes because all the shit you track with it. It's like, oh, okay, I'm gonna kick my shoes off. It's that simple. We came a board member. Hip hip. Huh? Kamala. She just said she's a board member. Did you just say you won? Maybe. It's time to celebrate. Yeah. So it's oh. so it's just to be a board member. I thought it was to be like the head person there for a second. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Aw. Thank you. Thank oh, you for believing in me. Good change for the Mindy. Kamala, are all these people your family? Ooh, that food look fire. I don't know. Maybe she's just making things worse. I doubt that boy from the minaret would agree. <clears throat> so how does she convince everyone that she's good? Good? It's not a thing you are, Kamala. It is a thing you do. That's an old tried and true bar right there, my man just spit out. You're not in, like, you just gotta, you gotta do. You gotta do good. A pair of sneakers, size 13. Ooh, we're starting to piece together her outfit. Kind of reminds me of uh, when how they had those Black Series toys. They just have like some of the Marvel toys in general where you buy some pieces and they connect together to make a singular toy. I wish those were out when I was a kid, bro. I would have bought every one of them. It's hard enough to buy them as an adult, but like, what am I gonna do with them? They gonna sit on the shelves and not pay bills like the pops above me? Quite the party. Something about their syntheticness. There it is. Let me tell you something. Those things are fucking fire. And if you ever find a chocolate one, extra fire. I got you covered, Mr. Khan. <laughs> something for cultural studies class the gym yeah let me have a look no, I'm, I'm actually i'm good let me, let me, please come on <laughs> oh it's written in urdu hey listen i can help you with this let me help you huh okay what do we have here supernatural beings of pre-islamic folklore the jinn have had many names across time and cultures some call them genies genies demons demon <laughs> legend tells of a group of hidden <laughs> jinn exiled from their home world <laughs> oh, shit. and damned to live out their days trapped in our own they move in shadows searching for the key that will help them get home i think what had happened was is this i think aisha hmm one of two things either aisha still has the band or doesn't have the band maybe these new people have the band and they came here for this or 
Aisha has the other band and sent them here to get this. But I don't think she'd go against her own family. I think, yeah, I don't know her. I think one of those two things is a possibility, though. To unlock Possibilities. Because you felt like you were up against the world. Like you wanted something so bad and then it actually happened. But it, in reality, it's just not as great as you imagined it. <laughs> yes, actually. America was my mom. Mmm, bar. Your father and I dreamed so much of coming here. And when we finally came, it was so hard. Hmm? He worked very long hours for very little money. Amir was barely out of diapers. My English was not so good. I tell you, I've never felt so alone in my whole life. Imagine that. Imagine. Oh. I found the mask. I found Auntie Ruby and Hamaira. And I found my family. Now you have somebody around you at that point. And let them love me. Ooh. Listen to Ooh. whatever mountain you're facing. You don't have to do it alone. As they are of themselves. Do you accept Amir Khan as your husband? I do. Do you accept Amir Khan as your husband? I do. Do you accept Amir Khan as your husband? <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> you accept Aisha Hillman as your wife? Yeah, I mean, I'm down. <laughs> do you accept Aisha Hillman as your wife? I do. Do you accept Aisha Hillman as your wife? I do. Oh. You are now husband and wife. I like that so much more than what we do. Yeah, they just dapped up on their wedding. Do you get to kiss the bride or just do a little dap up? Either way, I like it. Honestly, it's just good fun, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like the auntie's got a hold of Bruno. <laughs> and now a very special presentation for the bride. And That's 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 honestly me when i'm at weddings or around other cultures or things like that when i always just latch on or they latch on to me rather there's always like one old lady that just comes up and it's just that's it we're hashtag besties at that point we just talk the whole time i love it i think it's great i get along with people's parents very easily i don't know why maybe because i actually listen to them i don't know <laughs> okay all right yeah break it down Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are Brown Jovi. <laughs> now, we also do Eid, Diwali, and Sweet Sixteens and Kissing It's man Brown Jovi. I love that shit. That's 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 perfect. Yeah, no, nah, mood right there. One person walked, no, I'm out, bro. Can we just talk? Especially in a post snap world, wouldn't you like. Right? Like, wouldn't you just. As soon as some shit happens, somebody said, Y'all gotta leave now. I'm, I'm out. Post snap world, I'm out. Damn, we got hit right in the face, noggin. Oh, what's up, baby boy? Oh, Bruno done got his fucking shit lick. Wow. Damn, big fist. I'm, I'm, I'm still super mad at them for just saying that we would confuse her powers with Mr. Fantastic if they let her be stretchy. Leave him alone. What you got, bro? What's your little weapon? Spin, spin, spin. Battle the belts. Battle the lashes. Battle the thing things you spin around your head. Head. Oh my God. Get right out of here. Oh, I swear it gets my name wrong on purpose. I just think he genuinely doesn't remember your name. He'll eventually be a big payoff where he says Bruno and we'll all be like, ah, there he goes. Oh, headbutt. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I guess wherever I went. Wow, that was a bad stumble. Oh, man, hit the back of his head. He's unconscious and or dead. Black 
Flex and bust out, come all up. To go. Or why are you doing this? You said you would protect me. Why should I protect those who betray me? Who betrayed you? About to have a flashback vision. <laughs> they can actually get the gin because they think, yeah. Wow. What was that? What was what? No. This whole time it was you and you didn't say anything? Well, come on, you have to go. They're after you. Just wait. No, just no, wait. no, just no, wait. no, no, no. Wait. Just knock in, we'll take care of you. Wait, no. Just go. You drop this. I'm, I'm going to explain everything later, I swear. What just happened? I'll explain it, okay? Are you okay? No, I'm not. I hope she doesn't, hope she's not mad at her for not telling her. It's kind of in a... Tough situation telling about anything when you're a superhero. Ooh, Nani's calling. Hello. Hi, Nani. Um, Hello, Kamala. Can I call you later? You need to come to Karachi. What? I mean, wouldn't even let me go. Oh, you both need to come. Okay, Nani, please, can I, can I, can I call you tomorrow? Did you see it? See what? Did you see the train, Bita? How did you know about that? Because I saw it too. <laughs> Why you have to come? I just love it. She, she's all up just in the camera because I saw it too. Nani. The Captain Marvel background. Oh. Hell yeah, Nani. Nani. I need to look up the episodes list now that this show's over to make sure. Oh. Okay, there probably won't be anything to like this the second to last episode or whatever, whatever what have you. I like this episode a lot. Again, more exposition. I love that it's uh they're hundred percent focusing on on her culture, on her brother's wedding, on their everything. I love it. I think it's great. Getting info on the gin, I guess that may be the main antagonist. We may get something else, but there's only three episodes left. Um I wanna know how this ties into the Marvels, if it ties into the Marvels at all. Or if this is just 100% setting up Kamala, I doubt we'll get her full suit until the last episode. But she did get one of the pieces in this one. She saw us to make her own suit, and we'll just see kind of where it goes from there. I don't know, man. I'm pretty. I'm pretty geeked. Um, wait, what? Hold on. With the Department of Damage Control on her tail, Kamala tries to lay low, excuse me, ahead of her brother's upcoming wedding. When she meets a group of people who have information about the, mysteri the mysteries that's been plagued her family for generations, Kamala begins to learn more about the source of her powers. These friendly strangers need Kamala's help, but whoever, but whatever decision she makes could have grave consequences. Okay, so the djinn, immediately, they, they reveal their hand immediate, which I guess makes sense, right? That makes the most sense to me. I feel like it could have waited, but then again, it wouldn't have progressed too much just with having her, her brother's wedding. You had to have something for the for the wedding or something to, to go awry or something to happen to give, I guess, for the show. You could have had a somber episode and just had the wedding and then had Kamran come up and be like, hey, blah, 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 so what's going to happen, and then kind of cut. But I do like that they interrupted, and we'll get more about the gins, the genies, the demons, and uh, I guess take it from there. We'll see how the Department of Damage Control deals with the gins and how easily they break out of there and who has the other bangle, whether it's Nani, if Aisha still has it, or if they just need one of the bangles. 
That's what I'm the most curious about. And to see Kamala come into her powers more, but I don't know. I like stretchy Kamala compared to glowy diamond fist. But it is what it is. I'll take it for what it is. We'll keep it going this way. And we'll go ahead and wrap this up. So season one, episode three, again, was entitled Destin. Season one, episode four is entitled Seeing Red. And I'll see you guys there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.